U.S. approves 580 million sale of 16 HIMARS rocket missile launcher systems to Norway. On August 9, 2024, the United States State Department of Defense announced a potential foreign military sale to the government of Norway, involving the provision of M142 high-mobility artillery rocket systems HIMARS and related equipment. The deal, which is valued at approximately 580 million, has been certified by the Defense Security Cooperation Agency DSCA and has now been presented to Congress for final approval. The proposed sale to Norway includes 16 M142 HIMARS units, along with 15 M30A2 guided multiple launch rocket system GMLRS alternative warhead pods and 15 M31A2 GMLRS unitary high explosive pods. Additionally, Norway is set to acquire 100 M57 Army tactical missile system ATACMS pods, which are crucial for extending the range and impact of its artillery capabilities. The package also encompasses low-cost reduced range practice rocket LCRRPR pods, interactive electronic technical manuals, and a comprehensive range of support services, including integration, spare parts, toolkits, test equipment, logistics, and training. Lockheed Martin, based in Grand Prairie, Texas, has been designated as the principal contractor for this extensive military program. To implement the sale, U.S. government and contractor representatives will be required to travel to Norway periodically, likely up to twice a year, to support program management reviews, equipment fielding, and training. HIMARS has become a critical asset in modern warfare, particularly demonstrated by its successful deployment in the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. The system is renowned for its mobility and precision, capable of launching multiple rockets and missiles with pinpoint accuracy. Mounted on a 5-ton truck, HIMARS is highly maneuverable and can be quickly relocated, making it a formidable tool in both offensive and defensive operations. The system can launch guided multiple launch rocket system GMLRS rockets with a range of up to 70 km, and ATACMS missiles that can strike targets as far as 300 km away, making it highly effective in targeting enemy infrastructure, command centers, and supply lines. Its versatility allows it to engage a wide range of targets, from heavily fortified positions to moving convoys. In Ukraine, HIMARS has played a crucial role, where its precision strikes have significantly disrupted Russian logistics and command structures, becoming a cornerstone of Ukraine's defensive and offensive strategies. For Norway, the acquisition of HIMARS represents a significant enhancement of its military capabilities, especially given its strategic location near the Arctic and close proximity to Russia. This purchase not only bolsters Norway's artillery capabilities but also strengthens its role as a key NATO ally. The deployment of HIMARS will enhance interoperability among NATO forces, allowing for more coordinated and effective joint operations in the region. As the proposed sale progresses through the necessary channels, it marks a critical step in the ongoing modernization of Norway's military, ensuring that it is well equipped to face the evolving security challenges of the 21st century. In recent developments, the US Army has continued its investment in the high-mobility artillery rocket system HIMARS, awarding several major contracts to Lockheed Martin. In June 2024, Lockheed Martin secured a significant 2.8 billion contract modification from the U.S. Army for the delivery of up to 311 additional HIMARS launchers. This contract underscores the growing demand for HIMARS, particularly given its critical role in modern conflicts, including the ongoing war in Ukraine. This contract is part of a broader effort to expand the U.S. military S. HIMARS inventory through fiscal year 2028. In 2024, the United States has continued to expand its international sales of the high-mobility artillery rocket system HIMARS, with several key contracts signed with allied nations. Notably, 
Poland signed a significant contract earlier this year to acquire an additional 500 HIMARS launchers, in a deal that underscores its efforts to bolster defense capabilities amidst the ongoing security concerns in Eastern Europe. Similarly, Australia also entered into a contract to purchase HIMARS units, reflecting the country's strategic pivot towards strengthening its defense infrastructure in the Indo-Pacific region. The M142 HIMARS is currently in use by several countries around the world, with the United States leading as its primary operator.